Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to set up mirroring in SQL Server 2016. But before we start our setup, let's take a look on the server involved and the terminology involved in mirroring and some steps that we need to take in order to set up our mirroring. In my case, I have three servers, SQL Prod 1, SQL Prod 2, and TBS SQL. So your source server, uh, where your database reside is called principal server in mirroring and the destination server is called mirror server now witness is optional if you wanted to use witness server um, there are a couple more advantages come um, if you use a separate sql server instance as a witness but we'll see that in our live demo you don't have to have a witness in order to set up your mirroring between principal and mirror server let's talk about the steps First thing that we need to do is initialize the database that we want to mirror. Uh, how we do that is we take the full backup and transactional log backup of, of the of that uh, database and restore it on our mirror server. We take that on our principal server and restore that full backup and transactional log backup in no recovery mode on our mirror server. And then that database is ready to be part of our mirroring and we set up the mirroring with the witness server in this demo i'm using the witness server you don't have to use witness server and then we'll uh, test our failover so let me show you quickly what my setup is and then we'll go through the demo as you can see sql prod 1 is going to be my principal uh, server and sql prod 2 is going to be my mirror server and i'm using tbs prod as my witness server so let's uh, initialize our database this is the database that I want to use in this setup. So if you notice that database doesn't reside on our mirror server. So let's go ahead and initialize that. I have already taken the backup, uh, full backup and transactional log backup of mirror underscore test. So we'll restore that in no recovery mode. So right click on the mirror server database tab and <clears throat> Restore, click on restore database and click on device. Wherever your um, full backup and trend log backup is, you need to add that in the file. You can use UNC path in order to restore your databases. So my databases reside on SQL prod one. Full backup mirroring underscore test dot BAK. I'm going to go to option and select restore with no recovery. I can select overwrite the existing database if that database existed, but in my case, it's not on our mirror server. I'm going to click OK. OK, restore is completed successfully. All right, our uh, full backup restore is completed. Now we'll do our um, restore of transaction log backup. Right, we're going to restore our transaction log backup. Click on from device, and this also reside on my SQL prod one server. I'll give UNC path. <clears throat> click on options and click on no recovery. Restore with no recovery. Click OK. All right, restore is completed successfully. Now our database is ready to be part of mirroring. So what we need to do is go on our principal server. In my case, is SQL prod one and right click on the database that you want to mirror and click on task and click on mirror. Click on uh, configure security. This is essential. You need to configure your security. This is where you add your uh, print. Uh, you already have the principal server, and then we will add mirror and witness. Click configure security next. And it's asking you that uh, whether you want to configure your witness server. Again, you have a choice not to use witness server, but I'm going to use the witness server. So I'm going to click yes and click next. And here's my witness server. Keep in mind that you can't use principal server or mirror server 
as your witness, you have to have a separate SQL Server instance. In my case, I do have that. So this is the principal server configuration. Uh, listener port is 5022. This is a uh, default port. So click next. So this is mirror server. In my case, mirror server is SQL prod 2. I'm going to connect with that. And listener port is 5022 uh, again. Endpoint, if you have your um, principal server, mirror server, and witness server on the same server, these are three SQL server, different SQL server instances. However, they can reside on one server. But if that is the case, you need to use different endpoints uh, for your um, mirror server and your uh, principal server. So click next. I'm going to click connect with my witness server. Click connect and you're connected with witness server. Click next. So this is the service account that needs to have permission on your uh, principal server, witness server, as well as mirror server. So I would recommend to use a separate account and give proper permissions. Click next. And here's the summary. Click finish. So the configuration of endpoints are completed. Click close. And you have a choice now to start mirroring right now, or you can start it later. So in this demo, we're gonna start it right away. One thing I want to mention, operating mode, high safety with the automatic failover, synchronous. This only, this option only comes if you are using witness server. If you don't use witness server, then your commit would be asynchronous. It cannot be uh, synchronous. So this is the advantage of using separate witness. Click start mirroring. Once our mirroring is successful, you will see the status right here that this database is part of mirroring and it is successful. We'll do our uh, failover test right after that. All right, as you can see, the synchronized, the database are fully synchronized. Click OK. And mirror underscore test, as you can see, uh, it's a principle right now. And let's right click and refresh on our mirror side and see what the status is on the mirror side the status is mirror synchronized and in restoring mode you can't access when it's uh, in uh, restoring mode you can't access that uh, server you have to fail over if you wanted to act, make this database uh, read writable uh, for on the sql server that is your mirror so let's test our failover right click go to task here. Our failover option is right here. After successful failover, this database should become mirror synchronized and this database should become your principal. So uh, right now the principal server is SQL prod 1 and uh, mirror server is SQL prod 2 and after the failover it'll interchange. Click failover and yes. We, we get an error that uh, failover to the mirror database requires the principal and mirror server to be fully synchronized. So we're gonna wait until it gets uh, fully synchronized. Click OK. We're gonna give it a, another shot, see that uh, if it is um, caught up now, and it is. Let's go ahead and refresh that. As you can see that um, the principal server has become mirror now and if we refresh this this should become our principle all right as you can see this is principle now so this is it for uh, setting up a uh, mirroring and i hope this video helps